In this example, we're asked to use the following data from the 100 sen Senators of the 108th Congress of the United States. In the table below, we see male Republicans are 46, male Democrats is 39, independent males is 1, Republican females is 5, Democrat females is 9, and there are no independent females. For a total number of Republicans of 51, total number of Democrats is 48, and a total number of independents is 1. The total number of males that we have is 86. The total number of females that we have is 14, for a total grand total of 100 senators. In Part A, we're asked if we randomly select one senator, what is the probability of a Republican given that a male was selected? So when we calculate Part A, what we want to do, just label R as Republican and M as males. So we want to find what is the probability of a Republican given a male. And that's equal to using our formulas, the probability of a Republican and a male, all over the probability of having uh, selected a male. So the probability of randomly selecting a Republican and a male, there are 46 Republican males out of the total of 100. So in the numerator, we have 46 over 100. In the denominator, what we have is the probability of randomly selecting a male. Well, the total number of males is 86 out of the 100 senators. So we put 86 over 100 in the denominator. If we simplify all this down, we'll get 0 0.535 as our final answer. In part B of the question, uh, we're asked to, if we randomly select one senator, what is the probability of getting a male given that a Republican was selected? And we want to determine, is this the same result found in exercise part A? Well, in part B, we're asked to find the probability of randomly selecting a male given a Republican was selected. So M stands for male, R stands for Republican. Using our formulas, that's equal to the probability of randomly selecting a male and a Republican divided by the probability of rep Republicans selected. Well, we know the probability of male Republicans is 46 out of 100, so that goes in the numerator. In the denominator, we want to find the probability of randomly selecting a Republican. Well, there are 51 out of 100 Republicans, so we divide the denominator is 51 out of 100. And simplifying this fraction down, we'll get 0 0.902. And the question is, does this from part A, is the result the same as that of part B? And it is not, so we would say no. So the probability of uh, randomly selecting a Republican given a male is not the same as the probability of randomly selecting a male given a Republican. Those are two different questions. In Part C, we are asked if we randomly select one senator, what is the probability of getting a female given that an independent was selected? So in Part C, we have what's the probability of a female given an independent? Well, that's the same thing as the probability of ha randomly selecting a female and who's an independent divided by the probability of in independence. Well, the number of female independents, okay, female independents is zero out of the 100. Okay, so that's where the numerator comes from, zero out of 100. And the probability of randomly selecting an independent is one out of 100. That's where we get one out of 100. Simplifying this entire fraction down, we have zero. Final answer. In question part D, we're asked, if we randomly select one senator, what is the probability of getting a Democrat or independent, given that a male was selected? So in part D, we have to find the probability of a Democrat, D, or independent, I, given a male was selected, or M. So in the numerator, using our formulas, we have the probability of a de Democrat or independent and a male, divided by the probability of randomly selecting a male. Now we want to select a Democrat, who's a male, and an independent, who's a male. So we know the number of Democratic males 
is 39 out of 100, and the number of independent males is 1 out of 100. So we're going to add 39 over 100 plus 1 over 100. That's just for the numerator. And then we're going to divide by the number of probability of randomly selecting a male, remember, was 86 out of 100. So we're going to divide by 86 out of 100. When we simplify down in the numerator, what we'll get is 40 out of 100, and the denominator is still 86 over 100. If we simplify this fraction down even further, we'll get 0 0.465 as our final answer.